Okay, Children's Church team, I am Brother Ray, and I just want to do our monthly updates instead of a Zoom tonight. So first, let's begin with prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for another day that you've given us. I pray that whatever each individual is going through, God, that we all be reminded that you have a wonderful plan for both the good things and the bad things that are happening, Father, and that all things are going to work together for our good, Father, and that we have a predestined plan that you have already set out for us. So no matter how bad things look, we don't have to worry because we know that it's going to be victorious. We're going to be winners. We're going to be overcomers. We're going to achieve all that you have designed us to achieve as long as we continue to trust in you, Father. So I pray that my brothers and sisters' faith will be built tonight, Father, and that you would grant them more grace, Father, and anointing over their life in order to handle each and everything that they are faced with. We consider it done right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, Children's Church team, I've got some updates. And these updates are important because as a team, we really got to work together as a body of Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. In order for us to be effective and to live the way that God wants us to live, I cannot do this by myself. The other teachers cannot do it by themselves, but we all have to work together as a team. So the reason why I'm making this video is that everyone's not checking the band app. I've sent out the band link. I've called and text um, every person who I see does not use it. So we have to find a way that's going to be used by everybody. If you're gonna be on the team, you have to find a way. Now, some people say it's not necessary. And you might have said it to yourself out loud or just through your actions. But in order, to, in order for us to really accomplish what God has for us, we have to do better to work as a team. We're doing pretty good. And please believe me when I say this. I'm so thankful that even after the pandemic and we did lose a lot of staff and help that you all have either joined during this time or have stayed um, committed. Now, I'm not saying anybody else who left is not committed. Everyone's going through something. So if you don't see someone at church, if you don't see someone participating in children's church or any other areas as, as far as ministry, pray for that person. Just because we see someone smile does not mean that they're not crying, okay? So let's continue to pray for others. And I'm praying for each and every one of you. So the band app just isn't working as effectively as I had hoped. I'm going to create a text message thread. This thread is only for announcements. If you would like to add something in the announcements for that text message thread for everybody in Children's Church, I'm going to ask you to send the message to me and then I will send it so that we have a consistent flow so that there's also order to certain things. Um, unless I have assigned you to do it, please do not post to this thread. What If you have any questions, you will contact me directly outside of the thread. So all the posts will just say, hey, this is happening. This is happening. Contact me for more information. That's what I'm going to expect. So please keep a lookout for that text message thread. Most likely, I will be sending it tonight. And that's probably how you got this video. Um, let's see. Text message thread. Next, we need to have a set date for everybody to volunteer. There are some people who are consistent. There are some people who have said they're not sure when they show up. But once again, in order for us to be the most efficient, we have to have communication. And like I've told so many people, especially younger people, this can be used on a job application as your resume, as work history. And this will be practiced for you going into the workforce. A typical job, nine to five, fast food, wherever, you cannot just show up and say, oh, I'm ready to work today. It usually doesn't work like that, okay? So if you want to work on a specific Sunday and you're like, I don't care which one, then I will assign a Sunday to you. It is your responsibility to keep that calendar, put it into your Google Calendar, and for you to show up on the day that you said you will be there, okay? Please do that. It's not just for me and my sanity. And if you see my gray hairs, it's not just so that I don't want to have more gray hairs, 
but it's for the simple fact of us working as a team, knowing who's going to be there and knowing how we're going to adjust from day to day. So that schedule, I'm going to send it out. If you like the schedule, you like where you're at, don't say anything. If you want to choose a different day, then you can. Here's the next thing. As far as the schedules go, I've been doing this for three to four years, but now I'm going to have to be even more strict. When it comes to any of our teenagers or young adult helpers, you can only volunteer for two Sundays. That's two Sundays in Children's Church or two Sundays in Nursery or one Sunday in Nursery, one Sunday in Children's Church. Now, here is a sort of caveat. If you do one Sunday in Children's Church and one Sunday in the nursery, you can actually still do another Sunday um, working in the media department that's within the sanctuary. But what I have found out and I've noticed from some people is that sometimes when you're working the cameras, you're not really receiving the word. And the point of us coming to church is so that we also receive the word, that you have a time to minister to the young people, to minister to your brothers and sisters in Christ, but then you also have time to receive God's word. I've said this to many of you, is that I care so deeply for your souls that I would rather you just not help in church or help in children's church if it's going to mean that you're going to grow in God's word. Yes, we help, but we also need that time, which means that when I talk to you all after church, uh-oh, okay, <laughs> a little thing said, you know, my battery's dying. Hey, we know it. I've talked to you all plenty of times. Let's just do it, okay? Okay, so let's make sure that we're coming to church to grow closer to God and to also grow closer to each other. Speaking of growing closer to each other, we have our quarterly meeting coming up July 9th. Now, I do have another meeting for a HBCU tour that same day. So if there is another Sunday that we can do it, please let me know. Um, I'm thinking the Sunday right after after that one would be better because then also that's going to bring us into our VBS, both prep time and our training. And yes, we're going to have training so that we're all on the same page, knowing how to do what God wants us to do. And for those who need some help, do it, do it right. Along with our quarterly meeting and our VBS training. Here's the thing. Quarterly meetings are for everybody. Everybody. Whether you've been teaching for 20 years or you've been teaching for two days, it is for everybody's growth. And even if you feel that you know the procedures, here's what I found out. I'm observing and everybody's not doing things the same way. And it's okay if you have your own unique style to certain things, but there are some things that we need to keep very simplified and it's across the board so that if you move to another Sunday, and you're with other people, we're all still saying, oh, we know how the procedures go. Here's an example. Um, we know the structure and the timeline. And if you don't know the timeline, check the message or whatever. I'm going to send it to you all. Okay, man, I hope this video uploads because <laughs> it's almost nine minutes. But um, please follow the timeline. But how we do things, it can change but we want to keep certain structures still in place. So VBS is coming up. The proposed dates will be July 24th. That's a Monday through July 29th or July 31st, which is a Monday through August 4th, which is a Friday. Then of course, on Sunday, we have like our event day. That Saturday, here's a, here's a trade-off. If we do an activity on Saturday, that's a whole week, y'all. That's a lot. But what I would like to do is the Monday, which will be August 31st, I'm sorry, July 31st, I want that Monday to be a time for the teachers and helpers, for us to connect, us to have fun, do a little bit of a walkthrough, but then just enjoy a great experience so that we can carry on that feeling to the youth the next day. If we do um, something on Saturday, I've said this all the time, I cannot be there by myself, we need to have at least three to four people, teachers and helpers, who will be there to either like help set up food, different things. And we do things pretty simple, you know, hot dogs um, at the park and um, just have a good fun time. 
and make sure that everybody who's been coming through the, through the week has a chance to really connect with us and we connect with them. Um, so that's VBS. You're going to send out the schedules. I'm going to also send out the volunteer list doing her proposal to make sure that everybody in the church and ministry will be helping with VBS. If you have any questions, please text me. Please call me. Um, tonight, I am going to a graduation, and this is graduation season. So thanks to the convenience of technology, this will be our quarterly meeting update. Um, have a great day. God bless you.